next song we're going to play is from uh, the latest record that we've we released. And we've actually been together as a band for nearly is it 13 or 14 years together. Uh, we met in Leeds uh, as students at various different universities and as working musicians. Uh, and we came together just through mutual love and kind of similar influences and just wanted to make some really exciting music. So this last album we did was, was quite special for us because it kind of gave us a chance to look back at what's happened over all that time and how we've changed and how we've matured. Uh, and this, this next song is really kind of about that theme. So it's a, it's a track called Before I Saw the Sea. And the idea is just kind of like when you're at the kind of your favourite seaside place and you're just kind of waiting for that car to, to have that moment on the horizon and suddenly you see the sea for the first time. And it's just really glorious, isn't it? I always imagine when I go to like Whitby in Yorkshire and suddenly you look out across the cliff scenes and you see in front of you and you kind of just use that moment to really recognise that there's that moment of anticipation and excitement coming along and when you get it, it's just beautiful and glorious. So this is our kind of ode to that. Uh, and we hope you enjoy it. This is all before I saw the same.
watch us play tonight. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for choosing to play here. So this next one is... Oh, sorry. I can't hear the words about the Indian monsters in there. <laughs> Thank you. 
because a very good friend of mine lost a brother this week and he was at a very, very young age. Um, and this track is really about when people are going through really difficult times trying to realise that they're going to make it out the other side, that they're going to have somebody's hand on their shoulder, and that no matter what they're going through, there's always going to be someone there. And this was kind of born out of when we were writing during the pandemic and wanting to say to each other more than anything, first of all, that actually we've got each other's backs and we're there for each other. So I'd, I'd like to dedicate this song tonight to Martin, who was just a wonderful, wonderful guy who sadly lost his life earlier this week. So this is for Martin. <laughs>
who will never come back to me. But I guess that's pretty much the stuff that's going on. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
we're going to take a five to ten minute break. You guys there? Getting cold.
Thank you, welcome back. Um, so this next one we're going to do, you as an audience are getting a bit of an exclusive because this, this particular song is from uh, the second album. And we were touring in France and everybody in France was asking us to play this song. We had the hearse that we weren't ready and they were saying that the song straight, 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 very straight. So we're going to give it to you. So you get the French audience. Yeah. Thank you. 
enjoy the beautiful sounds of the common child. The father's first time in the rooms. Turn to the mother. Thank you, Rick Stone, for that, for a long time. And that will just allow me to be a beautiful lyricist that is Nick Presley. And the sexiest man this side of Shrewsbury, Samuel G. Murray on the clarinet.
Charles and the Sounds of Life. Yeah. 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 Thank you.